and welcome to Obesity UK. My name's Catherine Dowling and on today's show I'm going to be talking to you about the effects of obesity and how to prevent it. Obesity in the UK is a growing number. Being obese or overweight increases risks of developing such things as heart disease and that's only one thing from a huge list. Everyone just loves junk food. I'm certainly guilty there. However, no one realises the dangers of eating too much junk food as it clogs up our arteries with fat deposits and cholesterol fat. So I'm going to show you how to live a healthy lifestyle and hopefully you want to ditch the junk food and get healthy. I'm here at Salford University Gym for you guys at home to speak to personal trainer Adam who will hopefully tell us how to keep fit and healthy. Hi Adam, why do you think obesity is on the rise? I think obesity is on the rise in Britain because of the convenience foods. Um, we work a lot longer hours than we used to, so we need something that's either ready-made, microwave meals, or picking up a takeaway, which just makes life a lot easier. What does a healthy diet consist of? A healthy diet consists of balancing your nutrients, so you've got basic foods like carbohydrates, proteins, but it's also very important to keep a high level of your nutrients like your minerals, vitamins, um, amino acids, electrolytes. There's loads of different foods and minerals that you need to keep in your diet. If an obese or overweight person came into the gym, what advice would you give them? First, I'd establish their fitness level. Okay, If someone is already obese or getting slightly overweight, then I need to know what fitness level they're at before I can devise a training program for them. Um, so I'd do a fitness test and I'd take body weight and body mass index um, just so I've got a general idea of where to start. Once you've got a foundation level then you can know how hard to push that person without overdoing it. What do you think of crash diets? Um, they can be quite dangerous. Um, if you crash diet then often you're starving your body of the nutrients that they need. Okay, so a lot of the time you do lose weight quite quick but it's only a certain amount of weight. Once you've lost that first initial say seven pounds half a stone and your body realises that it's going into starvation um, so even if you're still carrying body fat your body starts to hang on to the body fat that it's storing as a survival technique. What do you think of slimming pills and are they dangerous? Um, again can be quite dangerous okay a lot of slimming pills do contain stimulants such as caffeine, guana, uh, sometimes ephedrine. Ephedrine is a prescription drug and illegal in this country but you can get a lot of slimming drugs with that in. Thank you very much Adam. Thank you. A gym membership costs money so if you're feeling the credit crunch like most of us out there you're going to love my easy to do workout. It's going to tone you and it's free. Welcome to my house. You can do these exercises in your bedroom or your living room. We're going to start off with press ups, which is going to tone your shoulders, chest, and arms. Right, we're going to start with our arms wide apart. Dig your knees into the ground, holding your own body weight. Cross your legs, pull your abdominal muscles in, and then we're going to go down and back up. Down and up. When you get more comfortable, you can do more. I do 10 a day. As it's summer soon, we're going to focus on our abdominal muscles. We're going to do some sit-ups. Now, when you're doing the sit-ups, make sure your arms are here and not pulling your neck as you're going to strain it. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay, make sure your back's in the ground and you can feel your abdominal muscles tightening. Okay, and we're going to go up and down, up and down. I can feel it burning in my stomach. Up. And down. We're going to move on to the plank. Now the plank is going to tone all our muscles in our body as we're going to hold our own body weight. Okay, we're going to move on to our fronts. Okay, arms wide apart and legs together. We're going to push up and hold our own body weight, making sure your bum's down. Okay, when you're more comfortable, you can do 20 seconds and 30 seconds. This is really good for your body. It does really hurt, but once you get used to it, it'll be a lot better for you. <laughs> now we're gonna do squats. This is very good for your bum <laughs> and also your quads and your calves as well. Make sure your back's straight as you go down and make sure your legs are hip width apart as well. Okay, we're gonna go down, 
making sure your back's straight and tense your bum when you come back up. Push your arm out, then back in. Out, back in. When you feel more comfortable, you can go down more. And down. We've nearly come to the end of the show and I hope you what? have enjoyed it and learned as much as me. Since researching Obesity UK, I've learned so much. I've dramatically changed my diet and I feel better about myself. Join me next week when we discuss size zero and the effects it has on young children. Hopefully you've taken some of my advice and feel as great as me. Thank you for watching. See you next week.